the subject of chronic pain is also a very common one in primary care practice. People have back pain, uh, orthopedic pains of all sorts, and uh, some people unfortunately have to live with pain. Now, I try to teach my patients to do their own physical therapy, to do stretching and exercises, and we have therapists that will teach them what to do and what not to do. Most of the time, that helps a lot. When that fails, we have to use pain medications. Now, the medications that we use, usually we start with Tylenol or a non-steroidal drug like Advil or Aleve, they will dull the pain. They, it's unrealistic to expect any medication to totally eliminate pain. But these analgesics are helpful for people with chronic pain. Some people, unfortunately, need even stronger medications. And sometimes we use things like tramadol or even the narcotics, the opiates, which are very beneficial in people, say, with cancer pain or with other types of pain that is really not controllable by any other means. I have patients with chronic migraines that would not be able to function without opioids, even though it's not my first choice. I recognize their value. But people need to have the, the correct expectations and the right expectation is that it will help to ameliorate your pain. It will not cure it in most cases. Is there, I'm sorry, are there side effects to opiates that patients should know about? Yeah. The problem with opiates and all strong medications is that they have side effects. And the stronger the medicine, usually the worse the side effects. In the case of the stronger pain medicines, the side effects that we see most commonly are sedation. People get sleepy, drowsy, can't think clearly, a little bit uh, of a brain fog situation. And constipation, which is a very common problem with opiates.